Locker rooms are where teams gather, right? And, and so um, continue to be a team, continue to love each other, take care of each other. We want this to be a place that reflects just how we care about you and how we're committed to you and your success. How do y'all feel about this? Uh, we're so excited, we're so excited. It's about time, we're getting the team together. Uh -huh. It's gonna be great. We so are fun. inevitable. This is the preview. We got not one, but two TVs. Can I get a hello? Oh, hello. 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 We got the nice showers. Yay. <laughs> and with, with these nice glass doors. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I hope y'all know I got that. All of it. Oh! Everything exclusive. You know, I don't know the code, but uh... <laughs> we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out when we get there. It's gonna be really good for team culture. Um, get the energy going before competitions, even just before practices out on the track. It's so refreshing. I think it's such a big team. Um, I think that it's hard sometimes for us to come together as such different event groups um, and this is just going to allow us to bring the team together like we never have before. With this locker room it just makes us become a family more and I feel like that since we have this environment um, we're going to compete better, we're going to become closer and it's only up from here. With our RWJ Barnabas Health Telemed app, you can see an urgent care provider 24-7 or book an online visit with your RWJ Barnabas Health doctor right here on our website, even as a new patient. So don't delay your care. We're at the Gary and Barbara Rodkin Academic Success Center. I'm Bruce Beck, along with Pat Hobbs. This is a slice of nightlife. And Pat, as the athletic director here on the Banks, what a challenge you have incorporating teams from the fall and the spring and the winter all together almost 19 teams this i hope this is the craziest year of my life because it certainly feels that way uh, all that's required in terms of testing in terms of social distancing the dorms um, uh, travel on the road single rooms all of these things have really been a tremendous disruption but all credit to the kids because they're vigilant they're doing what we ask them to do because they want to compete but it's a confluence of activity now all at once. So how do you balance it? I still don't know how we're gonna do it. <laughs> As we get to March, we're gonna have so many teams competing at different times that I'm not sure we'll get it all done, but we're gonna give it every effort. How would you describe the patience of your administration and the student athletes and the coaches? Yeah, I, I, Bruce, I'll credit everyone. Uh, everyone involved has really worked hard um, a special mention to our medical team, Dr. Josh Brashad, our chief medical officer, all of our trainers who really have been overwhelmed, but they have done it in a way where you wouldn't know it. Um, their kids are still getting the very best of care, but we're adding all the testing and everything else that we do. Uh, so, you know, just credit to a great team. I, I'm very fortunate. I got a great team of people here. Uh, and we have great student athletes. And what is your message to those student athletes as we continue along in this pandemic, hopefully now seeing the other side of the mountain? So patience, continue to be patient, uh, be appreciative, which they always are. They know how hard everybody is working uh, and continue to do all those things which will allow us to keep you on the field and on the courts playing uh, in the weeks ahead. And I know our student athletes will do that. Greg Schiano and the Rutgers football program added 10 new players on National Signing Day. That's 33 for this period. What about the optimism for the Rutgers football team? Greg's crushing it. Greg and his, his coaching staff are just crushing it. Look, what they accomplished in the fall was incredible, but that just continues. I mean, he hasn't lost a beat in terms of recruiting. Uh, and, the, and that's what's going to build this program. Uh, so, you know, as he said, we're recruiting the team now that's going to win the Big Ten championship. And that's the sense of optimism that we want. And he's having that success. And he's bringing in three of the top five players in New Jersey. That means 16 players overall in the Garden State, including some of the top players. And Greg has always said everything starts and finishes 
in New Jersey. What about that commitment? There's, there's so much talent here in New Jersey, and if you, you have to win New Jersey, and, and he always wins New Jersey, right? You're going to get talent from around the country as well, um, but the relationships that he has, and a coaching staff too, very, very Jersey-connected coaching staff, uh, so I, I just can't say enough. In the fall, Ohio State, Michigan State, Wisconsin are all coming here. The schedule is, I guess, astounding when you look at it. It's frightening, but that's the way it is every year. What was it like to release the new schedule? Look, you, you look at it, it's daunting, but it's the Big Ten. It's, it's where we want it to be. These are the teams that we want to play. And when you win in the Big Ten, it's pretty special. So, Pat, what's your message to Rutgers Football Nation as far as the future is concerned? Continue to bring your passion because the best days are ahead for Rutgers football. We're going to have some very exciting wins, not just in the coming year, but in the years ahead. Uh, and I am every, every confident that Greg is going to achieve just what we hoped that he would. Caitlin Schweighoffer, as we change directions and talk a little volleyball, another one of your first time hires here. How's the coach doing? She's doing an unbelievable job. I mean, she has turned this program around very, very quickly. I was very fortunate to be there for her first Big Ten win over at the barn. Uh, you saw the kids, the excitement. They're learning how to win, uh, which you know, they've struggled, right, in the Big Ten. Uh, Caitlin is a program builder. She'll do a phenomenal job. Everybody needs to be patient, uh, but she's doing a great job already, and uh, it just can't, can't say enough about her. Do you like the staff you've assembled in terms of head coaches, whether it's the big programs or the Olympic sports? Yeah, you know, anytime you have to make a change in a program, it's hard because um, everyone wants to succeed, right? Everybody brings their best effort, but sometimes you're going to make a change. Right now, we have a group of coaches here who are ready to compete in the Big Ten week in, week out. Uh, so I'm, I'm ready to go to war with this group. So student athletes are hanging in there, you're hanging in there, and all of us just hope for this pandemic to continue to be a thing of the past in the days ahead. You know, I think we still have some tough months ahead. Uh, maybe we have a tough year ahead, but we need to continue to be vigilant. We need to continue to do everything that we've done, uh, and uh, and we'll be fine. We'll be fine, and we'll be celebrating a lot of a lot of great wins here at Rutgers, and we'll be celebrating them together. Great to see you, social distance style. Thanks very much, <laughs> Bruce. Great to see you. For Pat Hobbs, I'm Bruce Beck. Thanks for joining us for a slice of nightlife.